Hey, what's up, people? How are you doing today? By the way, when you plan to come to Australia or to any other country abroad, just know it's not cheap. It's not cheap. You're gonna have to spend a fair amount of money to make sure that you go through the process. Uh, this question. Many people ask how much, you know, it's going to cost me to uh, come to Australia or, you know, prepare to, you know, English. And uh, every time I share the amount of money that you need at least to have people, you know, tend to, to give up. For instance, uh, the English is, will cost about, I think, about 26 or 27 Kenyan, you know, thousand Kenyan shillings. And uh, that's just the starting. You still have other things to do, like the medical checkup, which I also think is about 28 or 27. I'm not sure by the time I did, I think it was around 20, 26,000. Things might have changed. And then there are other things, you know, biometrics. If you're applying for a school, you need to have your uh, your fee deposit. That's around, uh, if you're doing a degree, you need about 17,000 Australian dollars for you to, you know, to get the confirmation of enrollment. So it's not really, really cheap to... To, to start the process. So if you're planning to come for any kind of, you know, um, either visit or either students or either work, you will have to have saved a, a bit amount of money to get you going through the process. Um, it's so about risk taking, guys. It's yeah, it's 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 about risk taking. So some guys I know have been playing it safe. You know, they don't want to spend a lot of money, but you want, you know, the process to go, you know, fair quick and cheap and easy. I've been sharing some, you know, with some people about the cost of English and they are like, where that's a lot of money. But that's just the starting. You even have not even gone a hinge. So if you are planning to come to Australia or any other country, Canada, America, you know, UK, German, please, please, please save some money so that when you start the process, you don't get stuck immediately. Because when you get stuck, then you can't progress uh, don't look at the money that you are spending look at the opportunity that you are getting because you cannot compare the opportunity and what actually you will get when you come here it might be a lot of money but it has, after some time if you are uh, you know what you are doing and you you know you are hard working definitely Within, you know, few years, you just look at back and say this was a nice investment that you did. So if you know that you are planning to go abroad for work, for studies, please start planning now. Start saving now. Put some money aside. It doesn't have to be like a lump sum or, uh, you know, large amount of money. You can start small. You can just have a nice plan. You can have a nice, um, you know, um, target that you have to do every, every, every month. And by the time you start the process, you have some base. You have some, you know, some some level of financial stability to be able to start. So, guys, please, please, please plan, plan for it. Don't just uh, think it is too much and uh, you cannot afford. Don't have that kind of mentality. Because even us, we do not have such amount of money. Uh, to be honest, you know, we it was through thick and thin. You had to save the, 
I remember sometimes I was working and uh, whatever I was getting as my salary I was, you know, like getting all of it and then doing like if it is English, I book English or if it is uh, medical, I just like throw it to the medical and I book it and straight away I get that one done out of my way. It took a bit of process here, yeah, I understand, but finally I, you know, I made it. You too, you can make it. It's not hard. You just need to have a good and good and good plan. You just have a, to have a strategy and you will be able to make it. Sometimes, you know, you can, you know, let go of something that you want, something that you really value. If you have something you can, you know, some people have even land, they can sell land. Some people have, you know, um, assets that they can dispose to get, you know, the process going. If you plan it to do a, a skilled worker, like the one I did for me, it was a skilled worker and it was not cheap. It was costly because of the assessment process. So you too, you can still do the same by saving, you know, little by little. And uh, he will thank me later. So thanks guy, guys for today. I'll see you again in my next video. Stay tuned.